Hey guys, 20 years ago, a group of engineers at Jeep called the Lunatic Fringe invented the Rubicon. And now, of course, the Rubicon accounts for 25% of all Wrangler sales. This is the very first Rubicon. But today at the Chicago Auto Show, Jeep took it to a completely new level with the most, I'm going to say, capable and expensive Jeep ever built. Isn't that true, Andre? That's right. We have three of them here, in fact, and at the Chicago Auto Show Jeep booth. Yeah, so we're going to start with the newest 20th anniversary Rubicon, which of course is a 392, and then we're going to work our way over to the 4x, and then we're going to show you a Jeep, and I'm not joking about this, Andre. How much does it cost? $111,000. $111,000 Jeep, which is a little bit more expensive than a Bronco Raptor. But <laughs> let's start with this guy. So of course you guys are familiar with the 392. Jeep finally stuffed the big old Hemi under the hood. But for the 20th anniversary, they went a little bit further, didn't they? They actually did some modifications. What did they do to it, Andre? Yeah, so I mean, of course, unique look. Um, it starts right here with a kind of a slight uh, modification to the seven slot grill. Of course, the seven slot grill has been around, but they're just adding a little bit more style to it. Yeah, yeah, and of course, um, what they did, of course, was they took it, a lot of our forces, to the extreme with the extreme recon package, which now comes standard on the 20th anniversary, which gives you 35s, it gives you a bigger lift, it just gives you more ground clearance and more capability. And also on the inside, uh, of course, they kind of brought back the red theme as well. Uh, I mean, Jeep has had it for a while, but this is kind of really special. You have a uh, very unique, uh, they brought back the red seat belt. Um, and of course, you have all the Rubicon goodness, right? Four to one transfer I case. also think they put a special little icon on top of the shifter, didn't they, 20th anniversary? Yeah, I just got it. It's yeah, right okay, there. good. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. right there. So it will be available in like eight or nine different colors um, for both of these. Yep. Uh, the V8 powered one and also, of course, the 4xE. And the biggest question is, how much does this guy start at? Just over 90,000, Yeah, and guys. bad news, guys, if you want one of these, they're only building, I believe, 4,000 of them, which seems like a lot, but let's face it, they're selling like two, over 200,000 Wranglers a year, so 4,000 Rubicons uh, in the anniversary edition is not that much. What do you think of this color, Andre? Uh, I love this, I love this color. Of course, special badging. Um, and this is true capability, I mean, Rock sliders, really heavy duty, uh, beadlock capable wheels, like you said, the, the tires, the bumpers, um, and of course that power, 470 horsepower running. Yeah, so uh, we went on the first drive of this uh, and uh, it is very quick. Do you remember how quick it is from zero to 60? I forgot that number. But well, well, they say 4.5 seconds, seconds yeah. and we can confirm, I mean, it's that fast. And of course my favorite button, and here, I'll go, why don't you go in this way, I'll go in the other way. I'll show my favorite button on this one. It's the raccoon button, Andre. So let me, let me show you this raccoon button. I remember where it was. <laughs> Where's my raccoon button? Oh, it's right it's here. It's right there. So that is the active exhaust button. Yes. And it looks like a little raccoon, right? That's why I say it's got a little raccoon eye. So you push that and all of a sudden it opens up baffles and you hear the Hemi under the hood of this thing. And you know what? Uh, I mean, people have been stuffing Hemis under the hood of uh, Wranglers for a long time getting rid of the Pentastar. But when the factory does it, it's warranted. It's, it's really special. <laughs> yeah, yep. it's, it's very special. And it is also engineered to actually be usable versus, you know, you never know what you're getting when you're doing it on your own. But Roman, what if you don't have $90,000? Where, where should you go? Well, you know, the future of Jeep, as Jim just said, Jim Morrison, is uh, electric, Andre. So there's also, don't show him that one. Hold on. Here, I'm, I'm going to block that one because don't, don't show him that one up. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Don't show him, Andre. We've got to save well, it for the end. Okay. We stick to the end of the video because if we're going to show him the most expensive Wrangler ever, we don't want to give away the ending. Okay, uh, I'm going to hide it. Okay, you're going to hide it. So right here uh, is the 20th anniversary Rubicon 4xE. Let's get Jim. Let's talk to Jim. Come on up here, Jim. Hey, come, be careful. Hey, uh, Jim. Good to see you guys. Hey, it's really rocky you. up here. It's really it rocky is. up here. Well, actually, it was fun because the uh, uh, a lady actually tested to see if this was real. I'm like, come on, this is the Jeep event. It's a real rock. We don't yeah. drive over plastic rocks. And we're, <laughs> We're gonna actually going to drive over it, so it's got to be rock hard. So, uh, Chicago, my hometown, one of my favorite auto shows. You guys have a big milestone here, right? Three million yes. rides you've given to people yes. uh, here in Chicago and around the rest of the country at Camp Jeep. Tell me about that. Yeah, Camp Jeep has been really popular over the years, and, and uh, we're going to do the three millionth ride, as you said, right here. You know, um, as things are crazy, it'll probably happen, you know, Super Bowl Sunday, you know, but uh, it's a great way to introduce Jeep customers 
to our real, our natural environment. And you know, once you've driven a Wrangler around with the doors off and the top off on Camp Jeep, you won't want anything else in your life anyway. So it's it's a great way that uh, we're introducing new customers to the brand. All right, let's talk about the. I don't want to talk about that one yet. We'll save that for last because that is truly special. But let's yes. talk about uh, the four by E twentieth anniversary Rubicon. Tell me about that. Well, it's a natural evolution of the. Uh, uh, of, of what Rubicon was. What's really cool is you look over there, the 2003, 21 inch tires, you know, 10 inches of ground clearance. It was, it was class leading at the time. I remember doing the Rubicon trail in that thing. You must, and, have, you must have stacked a lot of rocks. Well, and, and I, I remember doing it and it was like, you know, it was, it, was, it was a challenging drive for sure. I think it took us a long time, but at the end of the day, that was the most capable of the time and versus the sport that I'd done it in previously, it was incredible, you know? Um, so transition over to uh, you know over to uh, 2013. That's Brett's Jeep, by the way. Oh, cool! Um, and, and red tow hooks. Yes, and red tow hooks. Yeah. So you know everything you know from the 32 um, inch uh, inch tires. We did steel bumpers, the winch ready bumpers for the first time. They um, uh, the fun was the red tow hooks. Uh, I wanted them orange. Mark Allen was playing around. He, the first one was orange, but it didn't really work out. So it turned out to be red. Um, but then we had the red matching seats. And uh, you know we took uh, the capability to the next level. So you know building off of that over here to uh, our, our 20th anniversary, of course, continue to push the uh, the limit. So what we like most about the um, the 4 by e is even more torque, 470 pound feet of torque, and all quiet with the 4 by e technology. And then you know really amping up uh, what capability meant. So we got the the triple hoop um, on the on the front. It's got uh, 33. Uh, KO2s, you know. Look at these rock uh, rock sliders. I mean, you can you can turn with those things. We love even steering with uh, with our rock sliders. Um, but then we got the red and uh, and black seats, some red on the uh, on the dash, and even the red seat belts because our customers that that did uh, that loved red, they're like, hey, we we love this so much, you know, give it to us. So that uh, that's kind of the evolution, you know, of what uh, the 20th anniversary is all about. And 4,000 only, right? So it's a limited supply. And yes. when, if people want one, when can they get in line? Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, we've got it set up so that uh, we uh, we start production um, next month and they can uh, make their orders and reservations uh, here tomorrow. All right, so let's go talk about that guy because that's got to be what the most capable Jeep from the factory ever at this point, this, right? This is incredible. So, you know, um, over the years, you know, AV has always been pushed on limits. In fact, you know, one of the things about the, the original Rubicon, um, the story about the lunatic fringe and the, uh, the Jeep engineers that were, you know, working on their own time, building their own rigs to actually prove the fact to our company that we could actually make a more capable Wrangler at the time. We ended up calling that Rubicon and that initial and that original lunatic fringe uh, point of view or that thought is actually what drove us to uh, to this. So AEV is doing these, this is called a level two by AEV and riding on 37s, 14 inches of ground clearance, um, 55 degree approach angle. It's, it's incredible. This thing will crawl up, you know, a, a house if you let it. Um, but most importantly, this thing rides incredible. And you might remember, I was driving the prototype for this out in uh, Moab with you last yeah, year. When you, when you told me, I remember now. Yeah. And I said, uh, t you know, pay attention to this thing. I was driving a 4 by e and I think, I think Tommy recognized the flares on it. And he's like, hey, that thing has 30. No, that thing's riding on 37s. And, and uh, anyway, so we've been, uh, um, you know, testing that and seeing what it's all about. But most importantly, the guys at AV, you know, they um, are doing a great job with this vehicle. It's clearly a uh, very capable Jeep. And most importantly is is it checks the box on every off-road stat there is. So no other competitor can say they've got a claim in a more competitive vehicle. This Wrangler AEV Level 2 is unstoppable. So for all you guys who don't know, AEV is American Expedition Vehicles. They've been modifying Jeeps and Rams for a long time. Uh, and uh, what I like about AEV is all their stuff always looks purposeful. You know what yeah. I mean? It, sometimes you get lifts that, that look more like they're for show than for go, but the AEV stuff is always about function over uh, form. They do a great job. They listen to their customers as well, and they push the vehicles as hard as it comes. And, uh, and what you get is you get well-engineered, incredible parts that fit perfectly on uh, on our Wranglers uh, and take it to the capability level that uh, you would almost think is impossible 
but when you wait till you drive this thing, it's incredible. Now, it's got another distinction, Jib, right? It's the most expensive Wrangler ever, so it's got about 20,000 in AV parts, yes. so you're looking at about 110, 111,000 out the door, but there's only going to be 150 of them, is that right? Yes, exactly. So, you know, um, get them well or hot, because a 20th anniversary with this AEV Level 2 upfit is going to be a... Uh, um, for sure a collector. So you've driven it, I take it? Yes. And what's it like? You know, it's, it's incredible. Okay. Um, I've got a silver one in my driveway. It's, uh, it's amazing. The, um, you know, it doesn't have all of the stuff on it, but it's got the uh, uh, suspension, the 37s, and uh, you know, it's, it's incredible. The 4xe technology combined with that kind of grip and, uh, and ground clearance, uh, it's it's incredible. This Jeep is completely unstoppable. Now, the only thing it's missing uh, that I can tell is the snorkel. Why didn't you go with the snorkel? Well, uh, you know, because not too, everybody needs too, a snorkel. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, and and what I what I really like is the uh, the new front end. If you remember, this is kind of a fun story behind the story. We did the 20th anniversary uh, concept, and we put the actual um, 20th anniversary grill in it so we could hide it in plain sight. We've been driving these things around Detroit, and everybody thought it was that same vehicle. So it was kind of fun. Yeah, Andre pointed that out right away. Isn't that right, Andre? So yeah, I found oh, it. You you I found it. Grill. Yeah. But, but Roman, they don't have a snorkel because it's 37 inches of water <laughs> fording <laughs> already. Well, that's the wheel size. I'm not sure that's the water that fording. Is, no, it is. Oh, is it really? Yeah, Andre knows the numbers. I should never yeah. question you, Andre. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know my numbers. Yes. Yeah. Well, that, that's great, Jim. Uh, any other colors or is, are they all going to be this blue? No, there's actually uh, eight colors. In so, this as well. So yes. you can pick. Okay. Yeah, customers right. can pick and, uh, and it's a good choice. And um, last question, would you recommend they drive it with the baffles open or closed <laughs> in the Hemi? Yeah, the, uh, yeah, what do you call it, the, uh, the, the, the raccoon, raccoon button. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it depends. If you want to uh, you know, not wake up the neighbors, you turn it off. If you want to enjoy and, and uh, let the neighbors know what you're driving, then, uh, then you push that button and you open it up and, and he just makes you smile. And what's really good is our customers have choice, right? If they want to be quiet, want to have an electrified Wrangler, we have 4xE. If you want to drive a V8 with, you know, 470 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque, we have a 392. And that's one of the things that's great about the Jeep brand is we give our customers choice, and they decide. Well, you know, uh, Easter Jeep's coming up very quickly, and I think this is going to create a lot of buzz yes. <laughs> this year's Easter Jeep community. It's always great that you guys have something, you know, that that, that makes it uh, fun to go there every year, and I can't wait. So thank you for taking the time and showing us around. Yes, good I, stuff. Andre, you want to kind of do a walk around without yeah, breaking Yeah, quickly, leg if I don't break my leg, right. then uh, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be good. What was an excuse to wear boots? Right? Like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, give me... Give them a quick walk around, show them all, all of the cool stuff. Yeah, yeah, because we were talking about the bumpers. So this, this one is, is showing the AEV level two. Thank you, Jim. Thanks, Jim. Um, and so AEV, you know, they also work with General Motors. They yes. work with Jeep, but they work with Ram. So they have very purposeful. And look at the camera mount, dude. It's sticking way out here for better, for better view right there. Yeah, and you've got synthetic line. I believe that's a Warren. Of course, that's a Warren yes. Lynch. Uh, so bumper, uh, obviously AEV lift, uh, recovery points right here. And also, so the beautiful part is, um, so this one is actually 4 by e dude. So you can put this level 2 um, package on either the Hemi or the 4 by e so you can choose which one you get. That's a great catch, Andre. Uh, and, you know, the, the cool thing, of course, is now that you have an electric Jeep, you get a lot more torque because electrification is torquey, so that gives you the opportunity to put 37s and actually be able to, you know, spin them. Because oftentimes the problem with putting such big tires on a Jeep uh, is that, you know, the mighty but small Pentastar sometimes was kind of running out of torque when you go beyond 35. Right, let's so say. let's do the math. So if the 4xE 20th anniversary starts at 69,000, yes. and this is about 20, right. so that's about uh, uh, $90,000 for this very limited edition 37s on, on fa you know, from, fa from the factory uh, Jeep. So um, yeah, it's high dollars, right? Yep. But you get a lot of capability. How are you doing on these rocks? I'm good, thanks for asking, yeah, yeah. Uh, here, 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 you know. They, they mounted the uh, 37 on the back too. Uh, we just bought one of these AEV Jeeps actually. Isn't that funny how, how that works? You predicted it almost? Yeah, what, what a, and the biggest issue here is you can't see out the back because the 37 certainly blocks your view. So I bet you they've done the same thing and they moved the camera over here. Yeah, they moved the camera, so that's mounted. And that's the thing about AEV builds. Like you see this, this hoop, it's very uh, strong, uh, very, very uh, purposeful. 
and also how the tire mounts, right? Because the tire is very heavy uh, with the wheels. So, and they've been doing it for deca decades as well. And you know, once again, once upon a time, right? The Jeep that we bought was done by the dealer. So they, they bought it, they, t they sent it to AV and they let AV customize it. They put about the same thing. 20, we have a JK that yeah. we just bought that's AV. They put about $20,000 worth of AV gear on it. But why wouldn't you want that from the factory, right? You get the warranty, you get all of the... And the, you know, the quality that comes, you know, yeah. the quality checking that they do. Yeah. So you get, you know, kind of the factory build and that's what it is. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, by the way, if you're checking out uh, some of our newest features, go over to TFL Bids, where we've got some, well, Tommy's uh, Mini GP for sale right now. Uh, and stay tuned for everything wall-to-wall -wall coverage, Andre, from the Chicago Auto Show at alltfl.com. We'll see you on the next one. Ciao.